guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. If you are new here, I've got an Instagram account, a TikTok account, and now a YouTube channel. So thank you so much for joining me here. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button so you are fully updated with all of my new and latest videos. Today, we have got a bit of a different video. You might have come from my first part of this video, which was get ready with me pamper night routine. Whereas right now, we're gonna go straight into get ready with me in the morning to get this makeup and hair look with all the treatments and skincare products, SPFs, everything that I use. I'm gonna do a full breakdown for you. So let's get started. So fresh out the shower, if you are here from part two, welcome. I have just washed my face with my beloved cleansing polish and I just find this really gets all the dirt and grime off my face in the morning, which I absolutely love. I do still use this one at night, but I actually really like the oil-based one to get all my makeup off and then I'll finish off with this because I'm all about a double cleanse. And then what I've started doing in my new little 30 plus routine is use this little device. This is really good for tightening and like getting rid of my bags and stuff like that. So love this little device. It is called a Elevatone. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I've also got these little drops that go with it, which are just like these little boosting age drops. So it just makes it go on a little bit easier. So my face is, as I said, it's got nothing on. I've just literally washed it in the shower and wash my hair, wash the um, hair mask out. I haven't actually shampooed or conditioned my hair. I have just washed the hair treatment out. So now the serum is on. I'm gonna go straight to hot, so you have to press it. So it's cool and then hot. So the hot and cool treatment do different things. The hot produces collagen and it just brings all your blood to the top of your skin. So you get this like, full dewy gorge glow. I'll just do it in this motion. So once I've done the hot, then I go to the cool, and the cool I like to do underneath my eyes and it just kind of tightens the skin. So again, it's the same motion, just tightening. I have had a few messages from people saying, is this worth the money? And if you are not already up on your skincare, so if you haven't got your SPFs, if you haven't got your cleansers, moisturizers, and your microneedling, then I would have this as a final. Like this, you're not gonna put this on your skin and it's gonna make a difference tomorrow. This is like a extra that I use. So if you are in a budget and you're thinking, do you know what, I haven't got a lot of money to splurge on skincare at the moment, then I would leave this to last. I would concentrate on buying SPF. That is gonna make the biggest difference to your skin in future and as you go on. And also because the SPF is really gentle on your skin, I have no breakouts when I wear that SPF. You're gonna find, because you're not wearing foundation as much, that the SPF actually really helps with any blemishes and like congestion and things like that. So I'll show you all of the steps I'm going to take today. I also mentioned yesterday on my Instagram that I've been taking JS Health vitamins for skin, hair and digestion and they are making such a big difference to my skin and hair because not only am I doing all these kind of treatments on my skin through the day and night, obviously it's not every day but I'm obviously making a bigger effort to look after my skin. Um, I'm also trying to look after my skin internally as well by drinking loads of water and taking those vitamins. Everything I'm going to show you in part one and part two of my treatments and my day-to-day -day skincare routine, this is obviously like, I'm like three years into my routine, but I'll also break it down in the description for anyone who's just starting. Maybe you're around 25 and you think, you know what, I need to start looking after my skin now, then I've got you. Go to the description, I'll have a beginner's one there. And I'll do more of these videos because I know lots of people are really thinking about their skin at the moment. I don't know whether it's because of lockdown or a lot of people who follow me are also heading into their 30s now, but I feel like people are really taking skincare seriously, which I'm so happy about because, you know, it is so important. People just overlook it all the time and then they get to like 50 and they think, why do they look like a sun damaged shoe? And this is why you need to really look after your skin. So that is not all that done. Now while I give my skin like a second to breathe, I'm gonna take my hat off and I'm gonna just put some 
oil through my hair and start to brush it a little bit. So I'm gonna use, first of all, Moroccan hair oil treatment. I've used this for nearly two years now and I actually got this bottle at the start of lockdown one. So this time last year, I got this. I did a deal with Look Fantastic and they gave me loads of free products to try out loads of different things. I was already using this in the smaller bottles, but I got a big one and look, and I use this every single time I wash my hair. I'm not even joking. So you see the little bit, two pumps like this, tiny bit, rub it together in your hands. And then I go straight for the ends of my hair because obviously they are the most brittle. Then again, my money piece at the front because it's blonde, just a little bit. Nothing too near the root because you don't want to make your hair greasy. And then I just work it all the way through like so. Then you're gonna get your amazing Denman brush. I absolutely cannot live without this brush, it's just so good. So I'm gonna just brush all my hair back right now. In fact, I'm just gonna put my dressing gown on because I'm really scared I'm gonna flash you right now, so I'll be back in a second. I'm back and I've got my another, another terry cloth robe on. Absolutely love a terry cloth robe. I just feel like I'm spa ready. So I'm just brushing all my hair through, making sure there's no lugs in there. But like I said yesterday, when I put the mask on, I knew that the mask is just so good for detangling and repairing and making your hair feel silky soft that it wouldn't be an issue the next day to brush it through. I have stupidly picked some spots before I did this video, which was stupid. Why did I do that? I just saw them and I was like, oh, a little blackhead there. And then I've picked it one. Idiot. So now I've got little spots there, which is annoying because I didn't have them before, but I just couldn't help myself. Okay. So brushing all that back, making sure there is no lugs in there at all. Now I'm going to get this frizzy's heat defense protecting spray and i'm just going to spray it all over the ends like so now i know my hair has got the protection on so i'm going to let it dry a little bit on its own now while i do the rest of my skincare routine and then i'll show you how i dry it and straighten it with my straighteners so my face is feeling a bit dry now it needs to be hydrated like i said yesterday in the nighttime routine I don't ever complicate my daytime routine anymore. There's no like this, 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 and this. It's really simple steps that I follow and that's what's working for me so well. So I'll quickly show you that now. So first of all, obviously I cleansed with the Liz Earl or I sometimes use the Elemis oil cleanser as well. Then after I've let my face dry, I just pat it with a towel. I come and sit in here and I use the Endocare C Frulic EDA Fence Serum. Basically, it's an antioxidant, vitamin C, amazing, amazing serum. Like, I'm obsessed with this. Honestly, I am so obsessed with this. I love vitamin C serum anyway, because it gives that really nice, gorgeous globe. It's also protecting your skin. And I just think this one is absolutely amazing. I got it free with the Helio Care on and off, and I know you, loads of you girls did as well. So I just quickly push that into my skin in an upwards motion. Glowing. Just is an instant glow and it makes my face feel so hydrated and nice oh love it then next i'm going for this moisturizer today which is part of the derma roller stuff that i used last night but other moisturizers i use is i've been using this one recently which is the claudel thirst quenching serum which i do really like it is high high hydrating and i have liked that but then my go-to I've used this for ages, is actually from Aldi. It's a caviar illumination cream and it's really thick. So ever since I took Rakuten for my skin and then my skin was so dry, I've used this. It is literally so thick, look at it, love it. So yeah, I go between those three moisturizers, just depends really what I'm feeling like and I don't always alternate, it just depends how my skin's feeling and what I fancy. And today I'm gonna use this one because obviously I did the derma rolling treatment last night. So I've got this much moisturizer on. As I said, my skin is very dry because of the Rakuten I took about six years ago now. So I like a lot of hydration. I don't use any toner. I don't use any eye creams. I just use cleanser vitamin C, moisturizer, and then I'm gonna show you the SPF. Again, make sure it's all on your neck. I am aging 
here like crazy because I haven't been using the SPF on this area as much. Now I'm starting to see the lines. I'm like, I need to keep that area moisturized and protected. So, right, as you can see, my skin right now, apart from my burn from the curlers, is feeling and looking jouy. Then, if I was not going anywhere today and I just thought, do you know what? I'm probably going to nip to the shop. I'm going to go for a walk. I just don't want to wear any thin on my face but I know that I'm gonna go outside or I'm gonna just be near the window and things like that. I will wear this one which is the Heliocare Water Gel Factor 50 protects from UVB, UVA and eye tolerance, water resistant and it's really light so I'll quickly just show you what that one is like. I'll use a little bit on my skin actually. So when you come to put it on that's what it's like. It comes out clear. Hopefully you can see that and then when you rub it in, it's really light. Look, I can put it on my eyes, it don't make my eyes sting. It's really nice. Just a little bit like a moisturizer, I think. Rubs in lovely. And you are fully protected from UVA, UVB pollution. It helps protect your DNA cells, your skin's everything. It's just absolutely, ugh. If you're gonna get anything to protect your skin or you're watching this video thinking, oh, I really wanna up my skincare routine. This is what I think you should spend your money on. It's absolutely amazing, the Helio Care stuff. So that's just a clear one I'd wear. And like I said, I would only wear that if I just thought, do you know what, I just want to not wear anything other than skincare today. But Helio Care also do two shades. They actually do three shades, but I've only got the two shades ones. So they do a beige and a bronze. And I shared this on Instagram quite a lot recently because I've realised I've now been using this since 2018. I'll insert a picture here to prove I've been using it since 2018. And it was after I had micro needling done for the first time. The skincare specialist Ashley recommended to protect the work that she'd done with the micro needling to help with my acne scarring. I should wear a really protective SPF. And she let me try these two. And because they had a tint to them, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't need to wear foundation anymore. This is amazing. So obviously there's tinted moisturizers out there. I know a lot of people like Laura Mercier ones or like NARS ones. This is completely different. This is not a tinted moisturizer. This is a tinted SPF, which is amazing. And the Helio Care technology, so it's all very science-based, is a patented technology that can't be copied by anyone else. It's their scientific breakthrough that they've done and they have patented it and made it into this amazing brand. So I'll quickly show you the difference in colours. This one is the beige, which is there, so it's quite light. It's a really nice texture, as you can see, it's quite thin. It just reminds me a bit of face and body in terms of the coverage. It's not, you know, crazy coverage, but it will cover my spots, I'll show you now. So this is the beige going on. I just like to put it on with a beauty blender and press it in. And as you can see, that is the beige colour on me. It's completely covered those spots. But that, I think, is just slightly too light to match with my tan. <laughs> so what I like to do is, the reason I have both of these shades is throughout the year, I like to mix them together to get the perfect shade. So obviously in winter, I'm a lot lighter, but I'm still fake tanning, so I need to try and get the mixture right. Whereas in summer, I'll probably have a natural tan from the sun, I'll be much darker, and I'll need to wear the bronze. But obviously, there's always an in-between stage, and like getting a bit, bit darker, getting it a bit lighter. If I'm really tanned on holiday, I'll add a darker foundation to this, and I'll just wear this together. And it's really easy to mix. If you're worried about the coverage and you want something a bit more covered than this you can mix foundation in with it but i just think this is just so nice to have that little bit of color to protect your skin throughout the day and it almost helps you not to wear full coverage foundation as much i mean if you've got a few spots like i have today you could literally just go in there with concealer and just cover them up so i'll show you what the bronze is like now this is the bronze. It's still quite light. It's not like mega dark, but once I put it on my face, you'll see it is too dark to just wear on its own, on my skin tone. So I just grabbed a beauty blender. I'm gonna show you how I blend it in and you can obviously see the two shades side by side now. As you can see, that is good coverage. And it's just got that gorgeous glow to it. I love it. Uh, like I say, I've used it for 
four years? No, 2008, 2000, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2020. Yeah, close to four years. So this is the beige, this is the bronze, and I'm gonna show you how I mix them both together. So now there's two together there, mixing it together, put it on my beauty blender, and then I just blend it in like so. And then I mentioned obviously my neck is much darker to my face right now because I didn't tan my face because I did the derma rolling last night. Um, I'll just warm it up with bronzer and make it all match. And I also, I'm gonna film today some reels. So on camera, I need a bit more of a full coverage because it just makes me look so shiny because it's really glowy. Um, and on camera, when I'm filming with all the lights on, I've only got one of my lights on right now, but when I've got all of my lights on, it literally <laughs> is so intense to shine. So now I've just got like concealer under my eyes. I'm using MAC Pro Longwear. Put it on top of my eyes as well, blend it all in. These little bits that I mentioned in my spots. Then I'm gonna get a clear mascara. This one is just Color Lash from Collection Superdrug. And I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. I have got my eyebrows microbladed by Sarah Colton. I have tagged her and I will tag her in the description too. I highly recommend having your eyebrows microbladed if you struggle to get them to be level. Like mine are absolutely wild. So that's why I got them done. I've been having that done again since 2016, I think, maybe even earlier. Okay, so now that's looking like it's all done my base I'm now gonna set it with this which is fix plus from Mac it is all day hydrating spray with vitamin C in there and you don't have to do this but sometimes if I want to set my helio care or I just want like, like a bit more hydration I will put this on and again you just need to blend it in with the beauty blender like so and that is it, that is done. So now I'm gonna just finish it off with some bronzer, some blusher, some mascara, put a little bit of color through my eyebrows, dry my hair, straighten it, and then I will be back to show you the final product. But hopefully that explained a lot of what I do, how I put the Helio Care on, what my skincare regime is at the moment, the treatments I'm using, the devices I'm using, the products I'm using, hopefully you found that helpful and if there is any questions about the Helio Care or anything like that, Helio Care are absolutely amazing, they really care about their customers, it is a small brand so you know if you have any questions you can always DM them, they'll give you an answer and they have so much helpful content about you know protecting your skin from pollution and the difference in UVA and UVB. If the sun is shining obviously that's going to affect the UVA but UVB rays can get you if the sun is not shining and you are just out in the world. I will insert here some bits from their page that you might find interesting and also down below any facts that I have about skincare and why SPF is so important will be in the description. So as soon as I've dried my hair and just finished off my makeup, I will be with you and I'll show you the final product before I start filming. The lighting is okay. I was really trying to get some good natural lighting today but it's really overcast. Obviously I couldn't plan for that yesterday when I started this video. So I've put my big ring light on that I use for filming and it's not the best to be able to see the colour of my face and my foundation and my makeup and stuff so do apologise for that but hopefully you can see my hair is so shiny and silky from using the mask. I've just straightened it, blow dried it and it just feels so nice. I haven't been to the hairdressers in two months obviously because of lockdown but my hair is feeling so silky and nice. Then my makeup Hopefully it's all right in this lighting, you can see. But I've used the Helio Care, which I showed you. And then I've just put the bronzer, blusher over the top, a little bit of highlighter, mascara, tiny bit of eyeshadow, and then I've just colored in my eyebrows a little bit. A little bit of gloss and lip, a little bit of lip balm. And that is the finished natural look. The glow is next level and hopefully this has helped. Again, I'm really sorry that it's not in natural lighting. When spring officially starts and I can actually start shooting videos and stuff outside again, I will 100% show you guys what this looks like in daylight, but hopefully you can kind of see from my ring light right now what it's looking like. So, so I hope you found that video really helpful and 
any questions you have, please let me know down below. I really wanna help with anyone who is getting into skincare or struggling with the idea of SPF and have some questions, please feel free to message me or comment below and I'll get back to you about any questions. Just really wanna push the importance of looking after your skin at any age. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys really soon. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and give this video a like. Thanks so much for watching, bye.